I'm David Schwebel, Professor of Psychology and Associate Dean for Research in the Sciences at University of Alabama at Birmingham. My science is designed to look at basic psychological and behavioral principles, but to apply it to a real-life problem like preventing children's injuries. Pedestrian injuries are a leading cause of death for children in the United States, and so we sought out to think about how could we teach children to cross streets safely. Crossing a street is actually very complex. Children do not understand how to judge traffic speed, traffic distances, how to simultaneously manage information from multiple vehicles. Children need time to develop those skills, and we think we can teach it at a slightly younger age than it normally develops. To date, the existing interventions to teach children to cross the street aren't very good. So we began to think about what are our alternatives, and virtual reality came to mind. I want you to go ahead and step down when you think that it looks safe. Virtual reality is now technologically feasible and relatively cheap. So we can create a virtual world, a computer-driven pedestrian environment, and ask the child to cross the street within that virtual world. Yes! You got it! Good job. We want to be comprehensive in understanding the children we study. You have any questions? Okay, let's get started. First, we need to understand their level of pedestrian skill at the beginning. So we take them out to a field location and we measure when they would cross the street using real traffic in the real city. First, we have them stand next to the street and yet shout now. Shout now when you think it looks clear. Now. 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 I want you to take two steps forward. Second, we have them stand two steps away from the curb and they take two steps towards the curb without entering the street when they think it's safe to cross. All right, come back. Okay, we're gonna let them cross. Participant 215, VR follow-up lab, walk along. Behavioral scientists have developed ways to look at behavior objectively, to use rigorous methodology, to use rigorous science, and ultimately to understand behavior and thinking so we improve human health. To understand behavior, we have to get a comprehensive picture of the child. Are you ready? Good. Good job. So we measure their answers to stories. Daisy sees a squirrel. So what do you think Daisy does? Chase it. <laughs> yes. So Daisy we ask them questions, scenarios, where, where we talk about how would you get across the street to chase your dog who's run away. Okay. What would be the safest way to go? They get at things like their demographics, their knowledge about pedestrian safety, and so on. How good do you think you are at crossing streets compared to the other kids your age? We also measure temperament through behavioral measures. I want you to draw your circle as slow as you can. Such as drawing as slowly as possible. How well does the child slow down? And then we use a little robot on a tabletop. We've recreated two city intersections, and the children use a little robot to indicate how they would cross the street in this replica city on a tabletop. Ready, go. In order to program the avatar in the virtual environment, we have the child walk in the hallway several times to measure their walking speed. I think we are on the cutting edge to be using virtual reality as a way to test children's pedestrian behavior. It's innovative and unique, and it offers the opportunity for us to study something that we couldn't easily study in the real world. Oh my gosh, I think you need to try that again. The room is kept almost completely dark. That allows the child to feel immersed into the virtual world. Okay, this is our little head tracker, and this helps the computer know which way you're going to look, okay? We arrange a head tracker to understand how often the child looks left and right. Wow, that was close. Try to be more careful next time. They stand on a wooden curb. It replicates a real-world curb. And when they think it's safe, they step down off the curb onto a platform. That triggers the avatar to walk across the street at the previously programmed walking speed. With NIH's funding, we've been able to really understand how children cross streets and how we can make them safer. In order to prevent injuries, 
we need to understand how people act, how people think. Prevention is very closely tied to psychology, to human behavior, to the social sciences. The behavioral sciences can influence human health just like biomedical sciences can. Just keep watching the traffic in both directions. We expect the virtual reality training will prove to be among the best options available to train children to cross streets and ultimately be safe for pedestrians. Awesome! You can do things that make you more safe.